Hello watching News First Prime I'm Rahul Dayan It was on March 1st that two bombs ripped the prominent Rameshwaram cafe in Bengaluru's Brookfield The bombs exploded in a matter of a few seconds around 1 in the afternoon when scores were having their lunch As many as 10 were injured shifted to a hospital All of them have recovered Now after a month and a half it is yesterday the sleuths of the National Investigation Agency or NIA zeroed in on two suspects they are musawir hussein shazib who had placed the bomb at the cafe and abdul mateen taha the plotter they were arrested from kolkata both of them are already wanted in a 2020 terrorism case the nia said abdul mateen taha was involved with the bengaluru module of isis all hind the nia sleuths took the help of central intelligence agencies and police personnel from west bengal telangana Kerala and prominently Karnataka in nabbing the two the accused were found hiding under false identities as investigation unravels we have come to understand that they too operated with different aliases even as we know one of the accused as Abdul Mateen it has come to light that he has used several different aliases to hoodwink the police in Tamil Nadu he had christened himself as Vignesh in Kolkata he used to call himself Anmol Kulkarni On the other hand Musawir called himself Junaid in Chennai and Shahnawaz in Kolkata it has further come to light that they used phony aadhar cards to operate sources reveal that they were allegedly receiving instructions from a foreign handler hinting at a larger sleeper cell network across several states particularly in Karnataka following the blast the NIA had released photographs and details of the suspects offering a reward of a whopping rupees 10 lakh for information leading to their arrest shazib using the alias mohammad junaid sayed and taha using hindu identity documents under the name vignesh were reportedly planning to leave kolkata when apprehended by nia officials shazib's travel route after the blast included a journey from bengaluru to kolkata via gorugunte palya tumukuru kalaburgi nellore and odisha while taha traveled to kolkata via tamil nadu when both suspects were allegedly in contact with each other and eventually met in kolkata before their arrest additionally the nia had previously taken into custody muzamil sharif a resident of chikmagaluru for allegedly providing logistical support to the main accused in the rameshwaram cafe blast case a news first prime report